Welcome back guys, it's Kids Coding Playground here. And today we're working on a new video. I know I haven't posted in like a week, but today we're gonna be working on this game in Scratch. The objective of this game is to tag each other. The cat with the red eyes is it. Originally this name, this game is made by my cousin Jalen, but there are some bugs, so we fixed and featured his project in our channel. I hope you guys like this game. So tag game. We will be learning these following contests in Scratch. Variables, loops, broadcast messages, and sensing. So we have a shout out. So this is to my cousin, Jalen. So he made, he originally made the tag game. And we have this, um, also a YouTuber that makes really cool games. That's one of our subscribers called 5782AN. And he makes really cool um, games too. So you can check out his channel if you want to. I personally like these two videos in the front, and they're really cool. So I'm just going to go right here. And this is my the original game by my cousin, Jalen7. And we are going to be uh, demoing this game. So my brother is busy right now, so I have my dad. Hi. So, okay, so... So originally in the original game, both cats are orange, so that's going to be a hard one. In my game I made, I made them blue, so then you can uh, see which one's which. So I, I'm the one on the right, I'm the one on the right, and uh, my dad is the one with the red eyes. So you just have to stay there for long enough and get them. But if you uh, stay on each other for too long, there's like this type of bug and it just keeps on flashing through each other, which I personally do not like. You can sometimes get stuck here. We fixed all these bugs. Um, see, look, I'm stuck. See? see, the only way to get out is go up. So that's going to be the demo for this game, my um, cousin's game. And then we can move on to this game. And then, so I'm the blue cat, and I'm already it. And you can pass it down. You can see it's more smoother. Like you need to stay for like one second. See, it's more smoother. But in his game, it kept on like going off and on. So you can't, um, if you stay on, you can't just do it like that. And I got blue. I'm the blue one, and my dad's the yellow one. And this teleporter portal right here can teleport you up. So it's like an easy access to up, so then you can tag your um, enemy. So that's going to be it for the demo. So I'm going to move on. I'm going to make a, a new one. Projects. So we can normally keep the sprite, but I'm going to delete it because I have some things in my backpack. I have this regular sprite cat which already has all the costumes so you see all these cat a infect so you can just change it to cat a infected and like make it red and then run so now i got the first cat in my backpack and i can also put in the backdrop this is originally the backdrop and i also have the portal here which always means we'll code the we'll do the um other cat later let's close the backpack and then i guess that's regular size yep that's regular size so let's move it back up. Well, we're gonna start coding and we're gonna make uh, variables for this sprite only. So I have to make my first variable, can tag. And you have to click this for this sprite only thing right here. So that's really important. Not this, do not click on the cloud variable and then you can just make it. And then you got another one, you just rename this. Cancel, yeah, because it's already, you can just change this for this sprite only and change it to got tagged. So we made those two um, sprites, I mean variables. Let's just make that lowercase. And then um, let's move on. So we can also go on the backdrop and make the sound. So I, I think I used, I'm not sure, I think it's Alec Piano Loop. Alec Piano Loop. Yep, it's right here. Yep, this one. So I used Alec Piano Loop and play sound 
elect piano loop until done. So we can work on the cat. And if green flag is clicked, I'm gonna go for the costumes. This is just basically duplicated of these two, but then it has red eyes. You just have to change it to red eyes. So we can just start in the code. So when the green flag is clicked, let's make it a little bit bigger. I think this is good enough. More, maybe. And then set got tagged to end because this cat is like in the beginning, he isn't tagged. So, and set can tag to end. You need to go to the motion, point and direction 90. So, you can just put on that. It's already on, right? So, you can just go, go to that and then so go to you can make it go to anywhere you want but I'm gonna make it go to here and then I'll broadcast a new message called start game so start game so when green flag is clicked it'll go forever if then it's touching the portal, so that means it'll just teleport it back up. It'll go to, let's say around here. So I think maybe a little bit lower. Like around here, around here. So go to this, and then we, have, we still have to uh, code the cat. So when the green flag is clicked, I'm just gonna move that right there and then just work on the thing up there. So when the green flag is clicked, it'll go forever and have an if then loop, if then else loop. Cause else it's gonna be infected or it's not gonna be infected. So you need the equal sign. If it equals to Y, that means if 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 got tagged equals to Y, that means if he is infected, that means it'll switch costume to cat A infected. Then it'll wait 0 0.05 seconds. Seconds and switch costume the cat be infected so else it'll switch cat costume to cat a you just duplicate that change the infection thing cat a infected and dead cat b infected i meant not infected just regular cat a and cat b so I'm just gonna hide these variables for now. And I'm gonna run the game. As you can see, the the cat is, I, we didn't even code the, um, the moving yet. So we can code that later. So I'm gonna go change this to got tag to Y. So you can see the red eyes. And then start it. So it's red eyes, as you can see. You can change this back to N. You can change this back to N. And let's move on. So there's some more code for the cat. Um, and when I receive start game forever, if then, just a regular if then. The key W, because this one's W A S D. W is clicked. They'll change Y by 10. And then 
also need another if then loop inside of it if then it's touching touching color so we got to see it check if that's the right color first let's select this color so that's a little bit different so touching color then it'll change y by negative 10 and then you just keep on doing it for all of them you can just duplicate this and then change it to i think it's s yeah it's s yeah that's the bottom change y by first you gotta do this you make that s i'm gonna make that s and then change this to negative 10 and then change this to positive 10 and just keep on duplicating these but instead we're going to change this to change x and point in direction 90 so let's change this to d first d first so change x by 10 instead but you also need a point in direction 90 before that so then it'll point in that direction and then if then it's touching that color then it'll change x by negative 10. i'll put that right there and then we can just duplicate this again and make this the a key it's the a key a key up what in direction negative 90 remember to make this up here to click this button right here so it won't uh, turn around so it won't go upside down and then it'll change x by negative 10 instead and then change x by 10 if it's touching that let's move on to another chunk of code so when I receive start game, then it'll go forever. If then, we need an and, the outside, kit equals the can tag, if it can tag, is equals y and touching cat 2. so we don't even have the cat 2 yet so we, we can just place that in right now it doesn't have any code yet so um touching cat 2. cat 2 and then it will broadcast and wait Tag and wait. Then we have to make a new um, message. So we can just new message. Tag. And wait. So we're still on the cat. So when I receive tag. If then else. So when I receive tag. If then else it equals can tag if can tag equals to y it will set got tagged to n but wait one second it will set And tag to n. This is exactly the same code, almost exactly. I'm just saying almost exactly. Y, I'm gonna say that's y. So this is y. And we have to work on the cat too now. So it's basically almost the same code. So this is the code in all. 
So it's basically the same code. So we can just drag this inside here and drag this. Let's just drag everything in first. Maybe I'm touching that. Right there. That's too big of a block. Right there. Did I get it? Did I get it in? You have to change it a little bit, but I'm just going to drag everything in there first. So I already did these three. Um, this one. This one. And this one. So did I get those three? So this one. This one. This one. This one. This one. So. I'm going to go count. So I think there's, there's, there's six right here. Six right here. And on the cat, the other one, there's, let's minimize it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, six. So they got, he got all the code. So we can just change it a little bit to Y. one and then instead of touching cat two you have to do touching cat and you also do have to do a different starting place and this to negative 90 so you also have to check this is right here if, the, if it's already on it's already on so we can also go to see where we can make it go to let's say five and Negative 90. Save it on negative 90. So, still some changing you have to do. Instead of W, you have to do up arrow. Um, S is down arrow. D is right arrow. And A is left arrow. So we also have to, also the portal, we can also code the portal. So if then flag clicked, um, it will go to x, negative 166, 6, and it will go forever. Next costume. So I have my brother to play with me. Hello, so this is the tag game. Make it bigger. So I'm, I'm WASD. I'm it. He's arrow keys. Okay. So he's it. So as you can see, you can go to the oh, oh, no, no, you tagged me. So, so it's tagging really smoothly. So I'm going to go tag you. See if we can tag uh -oh. you. See if you can tag it. It's actually I'll tag you back. pretty smooth. And you can also go through the portal, as you can see right here. And all touching the ground, you can't go through. So that's basically a demo. Please like, share, subscribe, and comments in the comment section below where do you want to what next what projects you want next so anyways bye everyone